come to Jim's Place Smoke here in Painesville, it is not going to be hard to find why. You'll always remember which street it's on. What's the name of the street? Bacon Road. Bacon Road. How can you forget that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jim, it's all, it names Smoke, so yes. it's obviously all about smoking your meat right. properly. And, and that's right. what you guys are known for. Yes. And this is where it all begins? Yes, it is. And it has a, it has its own little name I see up there too. Yes, it does. We named it after my mother-in-law, Palma. Palma! So it even has a name. So you gotta treat it with respect then. It's got a name at all, right? Yes, it does. So what makes it so special? Uh, just the, the smoke. It, it makes the meat much more tender. It gets, picks up that smoke flavor. All right, I'm gonna have you, I'm a, I'm a little nervous here because I know I'm probably gonna have to get a shower when I'm done. I'm gonna have you open this puppy up so we can see what's inside. Sure. Look at that. And we have some of our ribs here. Here's our smoked ham. We sell a lot of these for the holidays. We do hams smoked and turkeys. Ham. Yes, it's very good. And I have a brisket here ready to come out as well. Wow, now how much meat can you fit into this at one time? Uh, it'll hold about 300 pounds. 300? Yes. So how busy, I mean, you guys obviously are packed here constantly. How busy is it that, I and mean, how much do you have to get in there on a constant basis? It usually runs day and night. Really? We'll smoke the brisket and the pork butts overnight. We load those in at night, and then we come in in the morning, we empty those out, and then the ribs and the chicken go in, and then we just start the process over again at night. Now what about, is there a certain kind of wood chips you guys are using to make sure that it comes out just the way you want it it's, to? We get all our uh, wood is from West Orchards down the road. It's all apple wood, so it's local wood. And we just cut it up and load it in. Let's pull some. Are you going to pull this out now sure. for us? Should I hold this tray for you to make sure no, it doesn't? No, we're good. Oh, you know. You've been doing this. How long have you been doing this? Uh, we've been open for four years now. Four yeah. years? Yep. You know what the funny part is? You wouldn't believe what he was doing before this. Tell them what you were doing before. <laughs> I had a shoe repair shop. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then you go to this, and now you're yep. smoking hams and yep. ribs. Now, are we going to be cutting any of this up for us to taste? Yes. Are we? Yep. I hear you also have some pretty unique items on the menu that you might not get at just a regular barbecue joint. So you know, I'll let you get to it. I'm going to okay. sit down and wait for you to bring some plated up. How's that sound? Sounds good. Okay. Let's do it. I have the wet wipes ready to go. Let's dig in, buddy. Where, where can we start? The the ribs look so good. I can't even. I can't even handle it. The ribs are delicious. Look at now. Do you use a special sauce on these? Uh, we make our own our own sauce in house. Uh, mm -hmm. We usually make about it's five gallons a day, and on the weekends we make ten gallons every every day. You got to be generous with the sauce, in my oh, yeah. opinion. You yep. know, I like when there's a lot of sauce on me. I, mean, I yes. got to taste this. Go through a lot of sauce. Those are smoked to perfection. Thank you. Mm, just right, not too much. You don't want it to take over. Right, right. What else is on the table here? We have this is our our big butt That's sandwich. My hands. It's our pulled pork. The what what what? <laughs> our big butt sandwich. Okay, That's what I thought it's you from said. the smoked uh, pork butts, the pulled pork. Uh, it has bacon and coleslaw on it. Uh, we have our rosemary fries. We Those have, are the fresh cut fries huh, that yes, you make here. Yes, it is. They look um, really good too. Baked beans. This is our brisket, and we put those in the smoker at night along with the pork butts. They'll go in for about 12 to 13 hours, depending on the size of them. They'll run all night long. I tell you, that tastes just as good as this. I, it just adds a different element to these than rather than just throwing them right on the grill. Yeah, it's, it's very good. And here's when things start getting a little bit different and things you're not going to normally find, I think, at a barbecue place. Correct. What is that? This is our brisket flatbread. Uh, it has smoked mozzarella on it, red oh. peppers, red onions, our brisket, and then we top it with onion straws. It's very oh, good. Fabulous. Oh, and then, last but not least. We, our, our pulled pork egg rolls, we sell a lot of these. Uh, it's pulled pork coleslaw. Gotta try one. And then it comes with our Southwest Ranch dipping sauce. So I know your wife We said roll these every single day in the back. Every single day? How many yeah. do you go through? This must be a favorite. Oh, uh, you get two in an order. Probably, I don't know, 50, 50 a day. Wow. These are good. Yeah. Mm. That's one of the favorites here? Yes, yes it is. For an appetizer, yeah. So you went from being a shoe cobbler 
after doing this. Yes. Where did that transition? How did this happen? Uh, basically, just starting out in, in, in my yard. I had a smoker at home, and uh, with family and friends come over, and I did a party for somebody once, and it just kind of took off from there. All I'm saying is that I'm so glad that that guy asked you to do it for, <laughs> yeah. as a pair for a party because this stuff is delicious. So many reasons why you have to come out here. We are on Bacon Road yep. in Painesville. Smoke. Come check them out. Spring the whole family. Thank you. Thank you.